Oh hi, Alan here. I'm just trying to fix my welding helmet that actually now has a big hole in the side of it. We'll see in a minute how this happened, but before we get to that, I just want to take a second to say, if you like what you see, do us a favor, leave a thumbs up. If you really like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. And then if you really, really like what you see, please leave a comment telling me how to fix this because I really don't know what I'm doing at all. Enjoy the video. We're doing some interior decorating. We this have... Is, go ahead. No, sorry. Um, so this is the kitchen table or the coffee table? This is the coffee table. Okay. Or this will be a coffee table. What we have is a big piece of wood. Hold this. And a big pile of steel. So we're gonna make a wood and steel coffee table. But only one of us knows how to weld. It's me, obviously. So before we can build a coffee table, let's learn how to weld. This is a MIG welder. It stands for metal inert gas, which really means nothing. Okay. It is a really simple, easy to use, probably easiest way of welding to learn. You can pick these up really cheap. You can get these guys right off the shelf at Home Depot. And in fact, I could probably use a bigger one. There's like funny birthdays or anything are coming up. This but MIG welder. Yeah. Very simple. Basically, this big machine, all it does is take the electricity from your wall and turn it into a lot more electricity. And when it does that, you use your little torch mm -hmm. on two pieces of metal, like the seam of two pieces of metal, and that big jolt of electricity heats up the two pieces of metal, and at the same time, it melts this filler rod into that joint. Okay. So you got the two pieces of metal, they heat up, they mix with this filler rod, uh -huh. and when it cools down, which it does pretty quickly, yeah. it turns into one nice solid joint or piece of metal. Oh, cool. A little planting to clamp here. Because we're just creating a big circuit of electricity, this also has to clamp on what we're working on. Let's learn to weld. Okay. But before we weld, we need to talk safety. You're wearing long pants. Yeah. You're wearing a t-shirt. Yeah. You need some more safety equipment. Okay. Shirt okay? Short sleeve shirt is not okay. okay. Because you're beautiful and we want to keep you that way. <laughs> well, thank you. So here is a fire resistant, not fireproof. That star told me that. Here's a fire resistant jacket. Oh. oh it's got a horse on it. You can tuck your hair up into this fire resistant cap. Keep that hair nice and protected. Big, thick, safe gloves. Okay. A welding respirator. <laughs> I can think it's soft. <laughs> well, she spends 10 minutes figuring that out, I'm gonna put on my safety equipment. Usually, I weld on the ground because I don't have a welding table. <sighs> this is not a welding table. This is probably gonna melt and or catch on fire. We have a fire extinguisher right there. Another one over there, and another one outside the door. So, we'll be fine. Oh my god! On our welder here, we have different adjustments. Uh -huh. These adjustments right here, A, B, C, D, are the heat. Uh -huh. The thicker the metal, the more heat we want to apply. Okay. And then this actually controls the speed that the welding wire comes out of the gun. Okay. Usually a lower heat, you want a little bit faster speed. Um, a higher heat, you might want a little bit slower speed. It really, you kind of play around with it till you figure out what works right for what you're welding on. Okay. And when you're learning how to weld, you just go over to your pile of random pieces of metal and find something to work on. That looks nice. Magnets. Oh. So we found a piece of scrap metal. And what we'll do is we'll work on, we'll try and attach this guy to that. And so we'll just magnet them together. You know what, let's 
try and go down. We're gonna make a cross. We're gonna make a cross. Easter. It's almost Easter. This will be our Easter decoration. <laughs> And then we need a little clamp here that creates the circuit or creates the current that we're welded with. And you can clip it on anywhere in the metal. Okay. This metal is fresh from the pile of scrap, uh -huh. so it doesn't have any paint on it. If it has paint, it won't make contact. So sometimes if you're working on something dirty, you need to brush it down, get the rust off of it, things like that. Mm -hmm. This is nice and fresh and ready to go. We're gonna have maybe a quarter of an inch or so of wire sticking out. And this wire touching these two pieces of metal, wherever this wire touches is where it's going to get really hot and melt the metal together. If this little brass tip right here touches the metal, it'll actually ground everything out and your circuit will stop going. And that's why the feed is important, because if it's coming out too slow, you'll get too close and you'll ground out. If it's coming out too fast, the wire will be way back here and you won't, you won't get a good connection. So you kind of want to keep about a quarter of an inch, a little more than a quarter of an inch of wire. Okay. As soon as I pull the trigger, it's going to start to heat up and melt, and your mask is going to go black, and you're going to be able to just see a really bright spot right here. Okay. And all we want to do is these two pieces of metal, we're just going to use the tip of this, we're just going to mix them together. We're going to make little small circles as we mix our joint of metal together, and we kind of roll it down real. So just tiny little circles moving forward every time. You can see tiny little, almost those tiny little circles I'm making mm -hmm. kind of look like dimes or quarters that are sort of stacked on each other at an angle. Yeah. And so every one of those is when I had just done a little circle with this. Oh my God. That's all there is to it. Okay. All right, so we'll put the mask on. Yeah. Oh my God, you're welded. There you go. No. Take two, we have a little bit less wire speed. Exact same thing. That is awesome. Was too fast? No, that was, that was actually a good speed. So your first one, you see how I was jumping around and around and around? Yeah. This is actually one continuous, and even right there, where you're going just a little slower, yeah. before we brush it, you can see those little kind of half circles. Yeah. That's where your welds are starting to lay up on, on top of each other. Like that, that would, that would hold metal, that would hold together. Oh, okay. You're a welder now. Yeah. Practice one more time. Yeah. And then we're sticking two pieces of metal together. So one thing, one thing that you are doing right now yeah. is it's at such a shallow angle, you're kind of laying this brass tip on this piece of metal. Um, so that'll short out. Okay. So we'll probably we'll extend a little bit more wire so you've got some more space. Uh -huh. Breath of fresh air? Yeah. So tell you what, let's take a look at where you started and where we just ended up. Because I think you're going to be really impressed with yourself. So this was your very first one. Yeah. And so what do you think you're doing wrong there? Um, not connecting with the metal enough. Exactly, yeah. You're kind of hopping and skipping along. Yeah. And then we had a little incident there. I think that's where the tip 
Yeah. Touched it and we ground it out. Yeah. So that's where we learned to not touch our tip to the metal. Yeah. And then here you can see that's kind of the first time you really started making those little lines. Mm -hmm. And right in the middle there, it started looking really good with you started stacking your wells on top of each other. Mm -hmm. And then we came over to this. And what's your official opinion of this one? <laughs> I rushed it. You rushed it? Definitely rushed it. I just wanted to get it over with. Yeah. And then your very last one right here. I made myself take my time. And it was not as bad as I was thinking. And near the end, had more fun. And then that's when I was like, I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> that right there, especially right there in the middle. Yeah. That's as good as any wall I've ever done. That'll hold together. Pick her up by the... Like this? Yeah. Yeah, give her a shake. A shake. A good shake. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a certified... Okay, we're not certified, but we have a... Update. We did a little more brushing with the Brushy McBrusherson, and there's actually a little more slag on there and once we got down into it, for being 45 minutes into it, that's a weld that'll hold. That actually looks better than some welds I do. Yeah, I'm not a good welder, but she is. Also, why are you wearing your boyfriend's clothes? Because <laughs> I didn't want to mess up mine. <laughs> One day the dog is going to win.